Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. There's another dollar up there. We'll talk about that one up there later. The dollar from 1878. But first let's take a look at this 1977 Eisenhower dollar we have here. We have the Denver Mint one here with the D down there. Philadelphia here with no mint mark. And then back here we have the San Francisco one with the S mint mark. And of course the San Francisco one in 1977 is going to be a proof coin. All the S Eisenhowers are proof coins. Now some of the S coins are silver and some of them are clad. So that's something you're going to need to watch out for. The Eisenhower dollars were made from 1971 until 1978. From 1971 to 1974 they made some silver dollars. They made the silver dollar again in 1976 for the bicentennial. And then after that there are no silver dollars in 1977 or 1978, which was in 1978 was the last year they made the Eisenhower dollar. Except for one huge mistake. So let's talk about that before we get into the numbers. In 1977, the San Francisco Mint sent all its 1976 bicentennial planchets to the Denver Mint and it looks like there were maybe 10 or 12 of them. Uh, there were 10 or 12 planchets or less that went to Denver that were silver, the 40% silver from the 1976 Eisenhower. And the planchet's simply the piece of metal that the coins are stamped on. So here's a 1976 Eisenhower. You can tell it's the Bicentennial Eisenhower 1776 to 1976. You tip it up on its edge and you see that it's silver. And so in 1976 it was 40% silver. And of course the 1976 one had a different back than all the other Eisenhowers. It had the Liberty Bell in front of the moon. So this planchet was sent to Denver and they made some Denver coins from 1977 that were 40% silver. They think maybe there's 10 or 12 of them out there. If you find one, it's going to be worth between 15 and $25,000. There's two ways you can figure it out. One is you tip it up and you can see that this is a copper nickel clad copper coin. So when you hold it up next to a silver coin, you can generally tell the difference very quickly. Here's this 40% silver, here's the copper, and this is the 76. If you find this color, on this coin, the Denver coin from 1977, it's going to be worth fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. So let's talk about the San Francisco coin. The San Francisco coin, they made it in a proof set and they made 3.25 million of them. This is a coin you need to be very, very careful with. The auction record for the proof 70 deep cameo is seven thousand dollars from 2014. But after they sold that one in 2014, people started bringing all kinds of them in to get them checked and now they have 267 deep cameo proof 70s graded by PCGS and they've gone from $7,000 in 2014 to $575. Be very careful how much you pay for San Francisco Mint proof 70 deep cameo. On the back of these coins we have the eagle landing on the moon, the earth right over the eagle's shoulder. The eagle's carrying an olive branch and you can see the craters of the moon here. If we go around the side you see there's 13 stars around the outside and then there is way down in here an F and a G for Frank Asparo who is the engraver of the back of this coin. Up here it says E Pluribus Unum and there are two dots, one on each side of the unum and one between the E and the Pluribus. If this coin gets down to a mint state 67 it's only worth about $18, which is not enough to get it graded. At the Denver Mint in 1977, they made 33 million of these. This is another one where there's an auction record of $12,900 in 2014 for an MS-67. And now, because they found so many, Mint State 67s from Denver are worth about $4,850. They also made them at the Philadelphia Mint. The auction record is $36 hundred dollars from 2021 for Mint State 67. But this coin is just the opposite because they found a Mint State 68, the only Eisenhower Mint State 68 ever found from either Philadelphia or Denver. And that Mint State 68 is worth $27,500 according to PCGS. So there's a $27,500 Philly. There's some almost $5,000 Denver's 
except if you get it in a silver, then you're talking about fifteen to 20000 Then there are some approximately $600 San Francisco coins. Now these coins all have a reeded rim. And the reeded rim are these lines that go around the outside. There are 198 of these reeds. And these reeds have been around for a while. Here's our 1878 coin. And this is the first year of the Morgan silver dollar. And you notice we tip it up on the side. You see, you see that it's wider and thicker. And of course it is. Second off, you'll see that the one on the right, of course, has copper in it. This Morgan dollar from 1878 was 90% silver, not the 40% silver of the uh, Eisenhower coins, but 90% silver. The Eisenhower silver coins are worth about seven and a half dollars each and they weigh 24.59 grams. Morgan silver dollars are worth somewhere around $40 minimum each and they weigh 26.73 grams. So we're talking about a difference of two, over two grams and the difference between the Eisenhowers and the Morgans, and that is because of the silver that's in them. Now these reeds are an interesting thing because the reeds were first put on the coins for two different reasons. The first is because it's really hard to counterfeit. It's really hard to make these reeds and make the front and the back. But the second and probably biggest reason they put the reeds on the coins was that way if somebody tried to shave off the edge of these coins, Remember, these coins were initially always silver or gold, and so if somebody wanted to shave off a little silver and put it all together, they could do that and kind of steal the silver from the coins. But when they put the reeded edges on, you couldn't shave off the silver from the edges anymore. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.